Hi, it's Katie Jarvis with Managing the Mess. I'm a K-6 elementary art teacher, and I teach at a Title I school just outside of Washington, D.C. In this video, we're gonna be talking all about packing up the art room for summer. My biggest tip for packing up is get started right away. This is a huge task during an already busy season of the school year. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below about my video all about the things that art teachers need to do in the fourth quarter. Packing up is only one of those things. In this video, we're going to talk about why you need to pack up and be organized because this is going to affect you in the next school year. I know one way or another, my room is going to get packed up. I've definitely had times when I've waited to the last minute and I've gotten superhuman strength and somehow gotten everything packed up in a day so that my summer could start. But when you come back in that fresh school year after you've got a nice tan and you're rested from the summer, you're not gonna wanna have boxes with mixed up projects inside. You're not gonna want to have to sort through your markers and find out which ones work. Now's the time to do that so future you can do the fun task about setting things up for the next school year. Before you begin packing up, get the details about what is expected for your school. Sometimes this can vary from year to year. I've had years where my classroom is used for a summer school program, and I know what teacher is going to be in my classroom. I've also had years where my room is used from an outside program that's doing a summer camp. So those are two different scenarios that I'd be setting my room up so find out what is expected. I know last year I put everything into my storage closets and thought I was good to go. And when I came back, I found out that the custodians cleaned the closets. They cleaned the floor and waxed the floor in the closet. So everything that I'd put on my closet floor, which I have an enormous closet, I've got a kiln room and another um, storage closet as well. So they did a lot of work moving things and I really didn't set things up the way that I should have. Um, our custodians go above and beyond. So this is not something that happens, of course, in every school. So I didn't know, but I need to do that better for them this year. So talk with your administrators, chat with other teachers about what's expected. Look around and see if there is a checklist of what's expected for your school. And definitely speak with your custodians about what exactly and where they'll be cleaning in your room for the summer. Then you're gonna to want to collect materials. So finding out is there some extra copy boxes um, from the copy paper that you could use. You wanna start saving some Amazon boxes at home. If you don't have a lot of storage, boxes are gonna be your best friend. I have invested in a lot of Sterilite bins where I store a lot of my project pieces, but at this time of year, I'd be dumping all those project pieces out, making sure that I've got everything um, together and I'm relabeling my bins so I know what is where when I go into the next school year. And before you start moving anything around, make sure that you take pictures. Now this could be for yourself or for the custodians so they can easily set up your room, especially for the heavy furniture this really saves you. You can also draw a map so you can show where the door is, where the front of the classroom is, and then where all the furniture should be placed and simply just tape this up on your wall for the custodians to find. You need to find out if you need to take things down off of your walls. Many times art teachers have the same classroom that they use from year to year and they don't have the same expectation as a classroom teacher to take materials down. So find out what it is you can take down. Um, other materials I might collect to get ready for packing might be old sheets. Um, you can go to the Dollar Tree and get shower curtain liners or the plastic tablecloths. Um, you can even use the school roll paper, but you're gonna wanna have a way to cover things up that, so that things won't get dusty over the summer. So things like my computer monitor, I'd wanna put a sheet over that so that I don't have to dust that and clean that when I come back in the new school year. At the end of the year, you need to do yourself a favor and just label everything. I would get some painter's tape and write your room number and your last name on it. And I would put this on all my major furniture so that things don't accidentally get put into another classroom when custodians are cleaning. I know at the school that I've been at, the custodians in the summer will just take everything out of your room and put it in the hallway and they'll do this to several rooms at a time so it's really easy for items to get mixed up so that's something you could do right away and again 
painter's tape, um, if you use masking tape and your school gets warm over this summer, it can leave a really sticky, um, yucky residue on all of your furniture. So using something like painter's tape is definitely the way to go. You're also going to want to label all of your boxes. Make sure all of your cabinets are labeled. So anything that you may have neglected in this school year to label that can help you for next year, just go ahead and take care of it now. Um, so you want to get some supplies together, maybe mailing labels, maybe name tag labels I've used. You can just cut things out of cardboard or tag board that you print out and laminate those and so that things are easy and organized for you when you come back next school year. I would definitely recommend labeling all your technology. So taking tape and putting uh, painter's tape on each one of your cords and marking what is that cord for? And taking photos so you know what cord goes where. Save those in a file on your computer so that when you come back to school, the first thing you can set up is your technology. Now, I recommend setting that up first so that if there are any problems, you go to check your projector and it's not working, some connection along the way is not quite right, you can alert your technology um, people and have them come and help you but you want to be near the front of that list you don't want to be the person that's emailing them and is in a crazy hot panic friday afternoon before school starts so for your future self get those technology things labeled get everything labeled around your room as you start to pack up you're going to want to check your organization i know that when i get busy throughout the school year and I'm putting things away. There are times when I'll just shove things any old place just to get it out of the way and help my room to look clean. So I go through all of my bins and I check, you know, this has first and third grade and kindergarten things marks on the outside of it, but I'm seeing here, there are some pieces from some of my fourth grade projects. So I wanna go ahead and move those maybe to a separate bin and I redo the label. So this reflects exactly what is inside of that container so that it can help me for next year. Some other boxes you're purposely going to wanna to pack is a summer box. If you're going to be taking things home, I do like to use one of these clear totes so I don't forget what is inside of there. And I will make myself a list of the jobs that I want to complete over the summer. I like to do some of those just silly mindless tasks while I'm sitting on the couch over the summer rather than doing it maybe the night before in a panic during the school year. But it's completely up to you if you wanna leave all that at home or pack that summer box. I'd also pack yourself an open first box. So I'd pack a box, this is gonna be something you do more at the last minute, but with a stapler, a box cutter, tape, labels, anything you're gonna want for that first day right when you come back into your classroom. I know I always like to have cleaning supplies so that I can easily find them because your room's gonna be a little bit dusty um, from over the summer as the cleaning's been finished and things begin to settle. And I pack myself a first week box. So I have wish lists that are already copied and ready to go home to parents. I have materials that are cut and prepped for students for that very first week. I typically do a before and after um, self-portrait with the kindergartners. We do a portrait that very first week of school, and I have a little paper that's cute for that cut and copied and ready for that first week so that when I'm coming in, I might have thought of some new different ideas over the summer. I can kind of focus on those things. I know that first week is all set and ready to go. Depending upon your situation, you might want to pack some things up to take home if those items would be safer there. If someone else is using your room, you may want to mark things so that they know that certain items are not for um, community use. I've also done things like taped my cabinets closed. If I had cabinets or drawers or things that didn't lock, I would just simply put a piece of tape so that they can't be open and write, please do not open across the tape. You could cover, I know I've got a lot of um, large file drawers. You could cover those with one of those Dollar Tree um, tablecloths and kind of just wrap it up like it's a present so that people are not opening those drawers or moving those items around throughout the summer. Taping the drawers also really helps the custodians if you have things that do not lock for furniture that they're, they're moving. So if they're moving your desk and you already have 
the drawers and things taped closed. When they go to pick that up, things are not falling out onto the floor. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you've got any tips about packing up for the end of the year or surviving through all this craziness, make sure that you leave a comment down below and I'll see you in my next video.